Today we're at uh, Crystal Pier in Pacific Beach, uh, San Diego. I'll tell you about the history of the pier and a little bit about the pier. There's a pier that I call the Yellowtail Pier because more large Yellowtail have been caught here than at any other pier in California. Hopefully we'll have a good day at the Crystal Pier. Crystal Pier is, is unique in several ways. Uh, the main way being simply that it's the only pier on the Pacific Coast where you can actually stay in rooms out over the ocean. The only pier like that actually has been in existence for about the last hundred years. Uh, this pier was uh, first built, or first officially opened, I should say, in 1927. Like a lot of places along the coast, it had a land developer that wanted to sell land. And back in those days, if you wanted to sell land, uh, they liked to build piers for places to go for recreation. You didn't have all the recreation facilities we have today, so piers were a big thing. People could go fishing, people could go down lounge on the pier. It was a very big thing, so they built this pier. But it also was unique, because it was unique in that uh, up in Los Angeles, there were a number of pleasure piers, huge pleasure piers in Venice to Santa Monica. Six or seven huge pleasure piers. And there was the same thing in Long Beach, at the, at, and there was the same thing in Redondo Beach. So the guy that built this thought, well, let's make this a pleasure pier. So initially, uh, it was built uh, 1926. And officially, it opened in July 4th, 1927. Out at the end of the pier was this huge ballroom, dance ballroom. It had a cork uh, floor, dance floor, supposed to be good on your feet had a big ball up in the top that went around and so this big ballroom and that was the claim to fame for a while. Uh, it also had kind of a, 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 a kind of a carnival-like um, midway on the pier where you could play games, earn prizes, that kind of thing. So it was more than just a fishing pier in that day. Unfortunately when they built the pier uh, they didn't build enough bracing so all of a sudden people are dancing and the pier's kind of going like this and they're getting kind of scared. They weren't too sure about if they should be out on that pier. And the other thing was they hadn't treated the wood properly for the pilings. And so the wood bores that, that are in the sea quickly ate through those pilings and made them unsafe. And so they actually had to close down the pier within a couple of years. And eventually it was bought by other people. It was eventually restored. And when it was restored, that's when they built the, the cabins. And so again, it, 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 back in those days, uh, Highway 1, the highway along the ocean, or Highway 101, I guess, uh, actually went right down Garnett Boulevard. At one time, there had been a train down Garnett Boulevard, but that was long gone. But they still had the highway right down to Garnett Boulevard. So what better place for a vacation than to stay out on the pier right at the edge of the sea? Crystal Pier came into being, it became a tourist uh, destination. Uh, of course, fishing was always a big part of that. Over the years, like every basically every pier in California, uh, it had storm damage several times, it had partial rebuilt several times, and uh, it, it, it's a short pier, it's only a little over 800 feet long, but um, it's always been good fishing pier because of the location down here in San Diego. In 1984, we had the devastating El Nino storms 
that hit all along the coast, wiped out a lot of piers along the coast, and they had to rebuild many, many piers. Yeah, it's, it's Newport, Balboa. This pier also had a lot of damage, so they had to rebuild that. But it has, since that day, it's pretty much uh, uh, remained in one piece, although they occasionally do have storm damage and have to fix it. It's a sandy shore pier. It's not very long. You'd think, why is the fishing very good? Well, it's a sandy shore pier. Uh, just to the south of here is the La Jolla kelp beds. Just to the north of here is the entrance to Mission Bay. And surprisingly, in the last, uh, oh, about 10, 12 years, they've started catching a lot of short fin corvina, uh, which is common in South San Diego Bay. Uh, it's still kind of an exotic species for more piers along the coast, but they've caught a lot of fairly big short fin corvina, as well as the old regular corbina. So he has Corbina and Corvina. And Corbina, they see a lot of Corbina, but they're very hard to catch. A lot of guys have to go down to like four pound monofilament to try to catch the Corbina. I fished this pier when I was in high school. And when I wrote my first book, Pier Fishing in California, I felt this was one of the best piers in the state for four different species. One was for barred surf perch. One was for California halibut. Uh, one was for Chauvinot's guitar fish, and the fourth one were the small queen fish, also known as herring. Um, since then, I revised my thinking a little bit, um, but uh, it's still excellent for all of those at times. One of the big differences is you don't see nearly the amount of halibut that you once saw. However, there is no doubt, based on the statistics, that it's the number one pier in the state for catching yellowtail. And not only small yellowtail, but big yellowtail, big 50 plus pound yellowtail. I've written several articles about the large yellowtail caught out here at Crystal Pier. Uh, usually they're caught in August, there's not a lot of them. Uh, maybe every year there'll be half dozen, six, eight yellowtail. But again, a lot of them are very large size. Um, pier is also unique in some ways because the very first fish I ever caught, as I said, at a California pier was here. I lived in Pacific Beach back when I was about 10 years old. My mom would like to come down and see to check out the ocean. And one day I uh, rode my old heavy Schwinn bicycle, uh, found an old rod and reel in the, uh, in the uh, garage, in some old line, and uh, came down here, bought a little, I think, shrimp for bait, and caught a fish. And I'm not even sure today what the fish was. It was either a perch or a small flatfish, but that was my first fish, 1957, at the uh, Crystal Pier. Again, going back to the pier, inshore here, uh, surf, surf species basically. August especially can be great for uh, yellowfin croaker and spotfin croaker. I've had days out here where it's one fish right after another, sometimes two fish at a time, and large, large uh, yellowfin croaker, uh, especially using if you're using ghost shrimp. Uh, again, usually it's right around the 1st of August where that becomes a very good fishery. The end of the pier is, of course, where you catch more pelagics, catch more mackerel. Some years you're catching bonita. Wintertime you're catching jack smelt. And as I said, sometimes you'll catch yellowtail and sometimes in the fall also a few barracuda. Barracuda you want to use artificial lures usually for. It's a great pier, not a large pier but it really, can be a really good fishing pier, and it has a lot of history to this pier, and it's just a heck of a nice, really nice pier. You can see the beaches are nice here. Uh, there's some great places to eat nearby, and it's just uh, San Diego weather uh, year-round is usually pretty good. Uh, come here in the summertime, most days it's gonna be 75 degrees, just, just perfect, uh, up until, except, for, except for the morning. They get what they call June gloom. Sometimes June and July is kind of overcast in the morning, clears up by noon, and then it's a nice sunny day. So it's flip-flops, short sleeve shirts, shorts, that's all you need, and it's kind of the same day after day. Hey, we hope that you watch our pier fishing videos. We have two aims. One aim is to educate people how to be better anglers. And secondly, we hope you entertain you a little bit. Hope you enjoy these films. Watch the films, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep watching.